Thank you. Uh, we will then go to uh, public comments. So I'll start with this John. All right. My name is Brian James O'Neill II. I'm running for President of the United States, and I'm going to pass this out to begin with Thirst. As you know, Illinois State, as I, as I predicted, would be shut down. No budget, still. Due to our citizens' foolish burden, due to our elected officials keeping people with disabilities who can work upon government assistance programs such as SSI, government assistance just about everything but 19% of our government budget is delegated to government assistance programs such as Social Security, SSI, and all kinds of programs which put our country in $17 trillion debt. And it's time to fix the problem. I will do it, I will fix it, and it must be done. As you see, Ron Paul, I've seen this uh, on TV many a times, seen it since the last council meeting. He's talking about how he's served in Congress for 22 years, about the economy, we call it, and today's politicians. What? He doesn't speak about him. He's in Congress for 22 years. He goes back to SSI. SSI was enacted and signed to law by Richard Nixon. Every one of these elected officials from President Nixon, every president and congressman and senator had plenty of chance to get together to amend that law of the Code for Relations, fix the problem like I want to fix it, so people like me that can work don't get taxpayers' money, be able to go to work, pay state tax, federal tax, Social Security, retire, instead of being regulated, $2,000 we're called. And if we want to work on the ticket to work program that they have in place, which is more or less to help people who can't work get on the system, you make less than you're allowed for minimum wage. I had a guy tonight go back, so once you go to work, I would like to see anybody without a disability live under conditions that I'm able to do and have plenty of cash on hand. I know you can't, but I can. But I have the right to work, make much as money as I want, be an employer, and not live off the taxpayer's money. But our elected officials are doing this. And right here is just about what a person would get $52 short in a month. I get $107. So if SSI was to be terminated in this country, the majority of people only get SSI checks, not Social Security checks like me, which I get most of my income from. That would mean they would be on the street. That would also mean that landlords would lose their properties because they're not getting rent from these people. At the same time, I'll still be living in my house because $107 ain't nothing. And it's time to fix the problem. The problem is not about Republican or Democrat. The problem is doing the right thing. And it's time to fix it. Thank you very much. Any other comments? 